Today I'm going to show you two OSINT frameworks and then we're going to talk about a third framework, which is what you should be doing. It's Three Minute Thursday again. We are just over halfway through a year's worth of Three Minute Thursday videos. Wow, time is flying. Let's get on with it. Someone called Warrior asked me to make a video looking at the OSINT framework, and that's what I'm gonna do. So put three minutes on the clock and let's roll. This is the OSINT framework. You go to osintframework.com and this is what you get. It looks nice, it looks pretty, it looks interesting. And in the top right hand corner, there's something that's pretty important. So this is the key, the legend that tells you what you're about to see. So if you see the letter T, it tells you that this tool must be installed and run locally on your machine. You have to download and install something to make it work. D is a Google dork, so it's just a fancy Google search. R requires registration, so if you're trying to maintain privacy, you're going to have to use a fake account, for example. And M means it's a URL that contains a search term and the URL has to be edited a little bit like a Google dork. It's a search and you just tweak a term like username or email address. As you can see, everything stems out of this OSINT framework. And this is kind of why this website became a little bit infamous is that it looks different. It looks kind of cool, but is it great? I find it's too slow. You have to click and wait and click and wait, and then when you do get here, none of these have keys on them. What, are they just websites? I can just click on it and, oh, I've been blocked, okay. This one, okay, pricing, sign up. So what, you gotta register? Mm, looks like you do have to sign up, but that doesn't have a registration thing beside it. So, is this maintained? You know what I mean? It's just, it's a little bit clunky. It looks nice, don't get me wrong. And it's a good starting place if you're new to OSINT frameworks like this and you're trying to build your own list of tools, fine, go and look through it. But using it on a daily basis, I couldn't do it. So let me show you something that I could use on a daily basis. This is Bellingcat's online investigation toolkit. It's built in Google Sheets, so it's super easy, fast. It's just a spreadsheet and it's got a load of different tabs at the bottom, which we'll look into in a second. Bellingcat, if you don't know, they wrote this book. This is by Elliot Higgins, the founder of Bellingcat. They have this question mark logo thing. I'll put the link to this in the description. Really nice book. Talks about how they founded the whole company and where it is today. But they're famous for figuring out who did the Novichok poisonings in Salisbury and the downing of MH17 and a few other big incidents. So they have this online toolkit. It's really nice. It's fast. There's no animations and it's pretty well maintained. So you can see here there is a column that says free with a green for yes. And we are on the imagery tab down here. So photos, so shadow analysis tools like Sun Kelk. Come over here, people search, social media searches, maps, aircraft, money, some advice about staying safe, whole bunch of really useful tools in here. This is a much more useful product in my opinion. You can also make a nice easy copy of this into your Google Sheets. You just click file and click make a copy and now you have a copy of it. If they update theirs, you won't get the updates, but you should be doing this third thing, which is what I talked about at the start. You should be building your own. You don't need to rely on other people to make these lists for you. Go to these lists, find your favorite tools, explore those tools and build your own framework that you are familiar with where you know every tool that's in there and you've vetted them all and you like what they do. That's what you should be doing. That's what the pros do. So I would go and get a Google Sheet or a Notion workspace or a GitHub page and start populating your own framework. Happy investigating. I'll see you next week.